When I was around 17, I came across Brian Tracy and fell in love with his teaching. I would go to the internet cafe at night because I couldn't afford the normal fee in the day. I would spend hours in the night listening to Tracy and reading his quote. One particular sentence stuck with me from Tracy and that is, if you want to achieve something different, you have to do something different. If you want to achieve what you've never achieved, you have to do what you've never done before. Growing up, I wrote the above sentence and pasted it in my room and each day when I see those words, I knew I had to make sacrifices. It's very simple. If your life is not what you want it to be right now, you have to be willing to do something different. And don't let me sugarcoat anything here. You won't move from one easy well to another. Doing something different means getting out of your comfort zone and this is never going to be easy. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the three sacrifices you need to make to escape poverty. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Take time to read. When most of my friends and relatives know what I have achieved in my life today, it's easy for them to envy me. Just 17 years ago, I was just one of the young people whose life was a disaster. I hated my life and wished I was never born because I was born into poverty, sickness and many other limitations. So, how was I able to change my life from being a guy who hated life to creating one of the best lives ever for myself? Books, books, books. My life changed the day I started reading books and I'll explain how it happened. First, when I started reading books, I started reading the stories of ordinary people who achieved extraordinary things. These stories encouraged me and gave me hope that I could as well overcome every obstacle in my way and achieve greatness with my life. I think this is very simple. If you know that some people have some disadvantages you think you have yet went on to achieve greatness, you suddenly start to believe in yourself. When you start to believe in yourself, you start to think big and when you increase the size of your dreams, you automatically increase what is possible with your life. In my case, I started believing that I could become rich even though I grew up in a poor village. I started believing that I could become a millionaire and this belief led me to something very important. I started looking for how to achieve what I believe I could achieve by reading books written by the people who have made a lot of money before. I started learning the mindsets and actions of these people and the more I modeled these people, the better my financial life. Yes, it took me eight long years before my financial life had a drastic change. Without reading books, I would have never made it. One other thing you can do in addition to reading books is watching videos that tell stories about successful people. We've dedicated a whole channel for this purpose and we call it Fame TV. You can join the Fame TV in the description box. Yes, books are boring but so is every meaningful thing. Fruits are boring and vegetables are boring but if you want to be healthy, you'll eat more of them. Soda drinks are fun, sugar is sweet and fast foods are nice but if you like your health, you'll run away from them. The TV is fun and social media is interesting but if you want to escape poverty, you'll spend more time with your books. Some time ago, I got to know that Bill Gates reads one book every week. I have also read about the fact that an average millionaire reads one book every week. If an average millionaire does something, it's probably a good thing to emulate. So, I decided that I'm going to be reading one book every week. This isn't easy and I'm not asking you to start reading a book per week but you have to make sacrifices to read books if you want to escape poverty. Don't make excuses. I told you earlier that sugar is sweet and you agree that hard drugs, fast foods and most other harmful things are fun. Another very sweet thing is excuses and that's why most people make it. Listen, you can come up with a hundred reasons why you are where you are if you want and you can as well come up with a single reason why you need to be elsewhere. The difference is in the way you use the powerful machine God gave you. That machine is your brain. If you program your brain to look for the reasons why you are poor, your reticular activating system will be busy looking for reasons and you'll start seeing how the economy, the government and your parents make you poor. Your brain will quickly show you how your lack of education, your health challenge, your childhood or even the country you were born are the reasons why you are poor. If, however, you program your brain to look for why you must be rich, you'll start seeing that even in a bad economy, 
Some people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars in legitimate businesses. You'll start reading about people who went through similar difficulties like you and ended up successful. You start seeing that you have much power over your life than you think and you'll start taking responsibilities. An excuse is the food of the fools and our world is filled with many of them because an excuse is sweet. It's about pointing a finger. It's easy. Everyone can do it. But if you want to escape poverty, you'll not do it. Don't make an excuse. Identify what you have to do to change your life and do it, no matter how difficult. Trade a hundred failures for one success. I heard something very interesting from Matt Cuban a few days ago and it made a lot of sense to me. Cuban said and I quote, It doesn't matter how many times you fail, remember you only have to succeed once. This statement makes a lot of sense to me because when I looked back at my eight years of failure, I could see the meaning of this statement. You see, my first eight years in the business world were terrible. Everything I attempted failed and everyone thought I was stupid. I was broke, rejected and frustrated. But a day came when I had my first breakthrough. From there, I had my second breakthrough and the third. Today, it seems as if everything I touch becomes successful. But that's the opposite of the kind of life I had only a few years ago. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how many times you fail. Remember, you only have to succeed once and that once will quench all the pains of the failed years. Why is it important you understand this? Well, most people see failure as a bad thing and that's why they give up. If you're in search of success, you should understand that the road that leads to success is called failure and failure is not final because a single success can make you forget the pains of 10 years failure. Make sacrifices to try things. Make sacrifices to get out of your comfort zone. Make sacrifices to do things that are risky and when you fail, be courageous to stand up and try again because it doesn't matter how many times you fail, all you need is a single success. The most important point in this video is sacrifice. If you want to escape poverty, you have to be disciplined enough to do things that are not comfortable. It's not comfortable to read but you have to do it. It's not comfortable to take actions that may lead to failure but you have to do it. Failure is painful yet you have to endure failures and try again. Remember how I started this video? You cannot get a new result by doing the old things and every new thing is uncomfortable. So, you have to be willing to make sacrifices if you want to escape poverty.